What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today we're going to be going over Frig's kit, and at first, before we get into Frig, I want to point out that Cobalt B is probably going to be the next unit. Of course, it's not confirmed, but with Frig confirmed, it tells us one thing. If we go back to All Simulacra, you can see, even though Frig was the 6th release unit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep, was the 6th unit to come out on the CN side, we got Nemesis and Frig first, which tells us we're probably going to get Cobalt B. What these three units are, are the core of each element. Uh, Nemesis has the Volt Resonance, Frigg has the Frost Resonance, and Cobalt B has the Fire Resonance. So they are the core of each of each of their respective elements, so it's really interesting that they're putting them out now. Now, whenever Frigg comes out, the team you're probably going to be wanting to run with Frigg is Frigg, Meryl, and then one supporter. Either Coco or Nemesis, I think, will be your two best options. You also have the four-star healer. I don't remember her name off the top of my list, uh, or at the top of my head. She's, what, down here? Uh, Pepper. You got Pepper as another healer. You can also run Zero, but Zero's more for team environments because he's kind of hard to fully capitalize off him. Uh, but yeah, I think Frig, Meryl, and then Coco Ritter or Nemesis are going to be absolutely super strong team. Uh, but let's get into Frig. I did look at it already because I had a mess up in the recording. I'm having to re record this. So I'm going to give you guys a really fast TLDR of what Frig does. Essentially, this lets it so fully charged weapons freeze the targets for two seconds and then leave it frostbitten. Um, breaking the ice shell causes additional damage equal to blank of attack. Keep in mind, a lot of this is probably going to be nerfed for global, so I don't want to talk about the numbers too too much. The target's weapon charge rate is reduced by 50%. I'm assuming this is like a PvP focused thing. Uh, it's going to be interesting. While frostbitten, the target's weapon charge rate is reduced by 50%. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a PvP more more PvP type thing. After using the weapon skill Fimble Winter, a large ice field will be placed in a position lasting 25 seconds, and inside the ice field, dodges will not be consumed while using Frigg's weapon. Pretty good. Kind of all you need to know. When using ice weapons, increase ice attack by 15% and shadow by 25%. Expect to see that nerfed. I Like I said, the reason I knew Frigg was coming is because I heard rumors that Frigg nerfs were datamined. I don't know exactly what they are. But I'm assuming a lot of it's going to get hit, just just like uh, Samir, just like Nemesis, just like a lot of characters. A lot of characters did indeed get a lot of nerfs. So that's something to keep in mind 100%. So let's go ahead and take a look. Advancements, uh, gain one frost in this point. Blank frost da attack of damage and frost domain, nice. Uh, this is kind of the core of her whole advancements. I don't think she needs advancements all too much. They all seem to be just rather DPS focused, while this is HP and then attack growth. Very interesting. Uh, shattering shields using frost weapons and frost. This is another big one, right? This is just more frostiness. This is more frostiness, and I don't find the frostiness stuff too good. I don't entirely understand how it works, because I think it's not worded correctly. Because it's gain one frostiness point every time you receive damage. Are you hurting yourself? I don't think so. So I'm going to read the Advancement 5. Outside of that, the Advancements will probably be better worded in game, so I don't think they're too worth going over. But this one's pretty uh, pretty straightforward and on the nose. Shattering shields using frost weapons in the frost domain will freeze the target for 2 seconds, causing frostiness points. X frost attack times 35% of additional damage. So the main thing is shattering a shield with frost weapons in the frost domain will freeze the target for 2 seconds. PvP, really good. I can see Frigg being a PvP monster already. Um, just so many things within Frigg's kit just scream PvP. Normal, there's only a couple things to really go over. The fact that she has a her, her hold attack, her charge attack, hold attack, whatever, is going to go ahead and launch them for air combos, and you'll go up in the air with them. Very similar to Samir's dodge attack. Uh, it's going to launch, and you're going to take them in the air, so you can do air combos. Pretty damn good. And then we have her dodge attack, which is the judgment slash, the move that you constantly get hit by whenever you go against Frigg. Yeah, that move. I hate that move. Uh, but that's her dodge attack, so it's going to be really good. Fimble Winter. Slash the space around the Wanderer, dealing total damage equal to the numbers probably going to change, so let's not talk about it. Can't suspend and launch targets and grant damage immunity while this skill is being used. 30 second cooldown. Pretty nice. After unleashing Fumble Winter, a large frost domain will be formed around you for 25 seconds. The number of dodges you can perform will not be deducted when you perform the Balmung dodge within the frost domain. Basically, use the Balmung weapon, which is Frigg's weapon, and dodge. Very cool. Grant domain of frost when you're on the frost domain. Increase shadow by 25% when using a frost weapon. Pretty damn good. Meryl's going to feast. 
Meryl's already a beast in global. I don't know why Meryl's so good. I've talked to a lot of people, and a lot of people feel Meryl is insane. And this just buffs Meryl up even more. Meryl is a cracked character. Frigid Fracture. Or Frigid Fracture. Frigid Fracture. When weapon charge is full, basically the exact same thing all discharges do. Upon switching to this weapon, temporary controlling opponents in an area before unleashing a gigantic slash and deal big PP damage, essentially launch them into the air. So you get air combos, you get an air, you get a, a lot of CC off of her, lots of damage, lots of buffs to Meryl, and Meryl's, we've, I've already made a video talking about how Meryl's absolutely insane. Lots of really, really cool stuff. So then we go to Frigg's Matrix. Now keep in mind, this is probably going to be nerfed significantly. If we open new tab, we go to Matrixes, we look at Nemesis, compare, uh, we look at China side, the CN server, Nemesis had their Volt Attack increased by 15%, right? On Global, it's 8. It's half. So I'm going to judge based off Global, and I'm going to say half. When switching from Ice Weapon to Ice Weapon, Ice Attack is increased by 8% for 10 seconds. This effect works in the background. Very important here. This effect works in the background. Incredibly important detail because it makes it so you can put this on Frig, you can put this on any character inside the team, and you'll constantly have this buff up. Um, these are one of the most important sets to look for. Any set that has this effect works in the background because they are going to basically be able to stack on top of other sets that work similarly where they work in the background as well. Very important to have that. When using Frozen Domain, enemies within the domain take 60% of ice, well, let's cut it in half, 30% of ice attack as ice damage every second. Kind of whatever. Eh, don't really care about that. Two-piece set, really, really, really good. Four-piece set, eh. But I think the two-piece matrix is really, 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 really good. Outside of that, I like I said at the beginning, Frig plus Meryl plus any healer is going to be a very, very cracked setup. Meryl's already very, very strong on the global side. Uh, Frig is probably going to get nerfed pretty significantly. I don't know what the nerfs are yet. We'll find out as we get closer to her coming out. But she is a very, very cool unit. Everyone loves Virgil. And I still see her used a lot whenever I watch C Inside videos to get a good idea of how the game is over there. So let me know what you guys think about Frig in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.